Do you think you've got FAA drone rules figured out? Well, maybe think again. Our last video on common drone pilot mistakes sparked a ton of comments and questions. So we decided to cover four more mistakes, and some of them could cost you your drone, your license, or worse. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm Adam with UAV Coach, where we help drone pilots fly safely, legally, and confidently. These rules apply specifically to the United States, but if you're flying internationally, we'll link a global drone laws guide below. So let's dive into four more common FAA drone rules that trip up both new and experienced pilots. Drone rule number one is flying FPV without a visual observer. Flying FPV, or first person view, can be a lot of fun, but if you're flying solo, you're technically breaking the law. The FAA requires that if you're using FPV goggles or any device that blocks your direct line of sight, you must have a visual observer next to you. That observer needs to maintain unaided visual contact with the drone at all times and be able to communicate with you if something goes wrong. This falls in line with the overall rule of keeping a visual line of sight on your drone at all times. Although flying FPV might feel like a completely different experience, the FAA still sees it the same way. You're flying a drone, so the same rules apply. Just like with normal line of sight flying, you need to be able to monitor the drone's position and avoid hazards. The only difference is that with FPV goggles on, you can't see the drone directly, which is why the FAA requires a visual observer. The second rule is flying at night without anti-collision lights. Flying at night can give you stunning footage, but the FAA has clear rules around it. Whether you're flying recreationally or under Part 107, your drone needs to have anti-collision lighting that's visible for at least three statute miles and has a flash rate sufficient to avoid collisions. A popular choice are LumCube strobe lights that you can attach directly to your drone. We'll link those below. You don't need a waiver anymore to fly at night, but you do need proper lighting. The third rule is flying commercially without a Part 107 certificate. This one trips up a lot of recreational pilots, even well-meaning ones. If you're flying your drone and making any kind of money from it, whether it's real estate photos, wedding footage, or YouTube monetization, you need a Part 107 license. Even volunteering your drone skills for a nonprofit or school counts as commercial use. The rule of thumb, if someone else benefits and it's not just for fun, you probably need to be Part 107 certified. And finally, the fourth rule is not using remote ID. As of March 2024, all drones flown in the US need to comply with the FAA's remote ID requirements. Remote ID works like a digital license plate. It broadcasts your drone's location while in flight. If your drone was manufactured after September 2022, it probably has remote ID built in. If you're not sure, we'll drop a link below where you can look up to see if your specific drone model has it built in. If it doesn't, you'll need to attach an external remote ID module. We'll link to some options below as well. If your drone doesn't have built-in remote ID and you don't want to get an external module, you can fly in a designated FAA recognized area called a FRIA. So there you go four more drone rules you might be breaking without even realizing it. If any of these hit close to home, don't worry. The goal is to learn and stay safe, not to shame. And if you haven't seen part one of this video, we'll link it below. Let us know in the comments if there are any other common drone rules that you think should have made the list. And if this video helped, give it a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.